Right, to the Philippines now. People uh, there are due to vote for a new president in May. The current frontrunner is Bongbong Marcos Jr., the son of the country's late dictator Ferdinand Marcos. Uh, Marcos Sr. was exiled from the country in 1986 following a popular revolt against his corrupt and authoritarian rule. Howard Johnson reports from Manila. I am today announcing my intention to run for the presidency of the Philippines. Bongbong Marcos kicking off his election campaign late last year. Running alongside him for vice president is Sara Duterte, daughter of popular authoritarian president Rodrigo Duterte. Bongbong's father, President Ferdinand Marcos, ruled the Philippines for two decades. His regime rigged elections, tortured and killed political opponents and plundered up to $10 billion of public money. Corruption immortalized by wife Imelda's extravagant shoe collection. In my four years as Philippines correspondent, I've seen how social media has been exploited to revise dictator Ferdinand Marcos's corrupt and authoritarian rule to one of aspirational leadership. And it's been so widespread that many people up and down the country are now parroting the misinformation with absolute conviction. Who will you vote for? Of course, Bongbong Marcos. Bongbong Marcos, the son of Ferdinand Marcos, the former president yes. and dictator of the country. Excuse me, Co please correct the word dictator. Uh, gusto ko lang I would like to experience the good life that people were saying when Ferdinand Marcos Sr. was still the president. We need to have that back. A man who knows about the Marcos good life is American journalist Jim Laurie. He was in Malacanang Palace the day the family fled the country for exile in Hawaii in 1986. You went into, you know, Imelda's wardrobe room and she had hundreds of designer uh, gowns and designer dresses with the label still on. And it, it was just a sense that in a very, very poor country, it just somehow seemed obscene. More than three decades later, what Jim Laurie witnessed is repeatedly questioned online. They will say things like, I don't believe this. This must be doctored video from 1986. It, it, it couldn't be true. And it does create a tremendous distortion of history and events. Bongbong's biggest challenge comes from Lenny Robredo, a politician that beat Marcos Jr. to the vice presidency in 2016. We approached Bongbong Marcos for an interview and a right of reply, but they weren't granted. In May, Filipinos will not only vote for their next president, but also decide what version of history they believe in. The independent media reporting of the brutal martial law period or a sanitized social media version of it. Howard Johnson, BBC News, Manila. Now, a 24-year-old...